Welcome to the second info session for Eagle Works. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, we are going to basically do the same presentation that we had last time, but what we did is based on all the questions that we had and all the comments, I have gone and uh, updated the PowerPoint to reflect those, so we're going to go through everything. And we're going to have a little bit more time uh, this time for question and answer. And then, of course, at the end, as usual, you'll have more opportunity to, uh, uh, to, to network with, with other individuals. So let's get right into it. Okay, so what is Eagle Works? Eagle Works is a Shark Tank style business pitch competition. So again, don't let the word business throw you off. This is for all majors, all colleges, all the way from undergrad up to doctorate. So this is for everyone. As we've said before, you can win thousands for your innovative idea, but really the core of Eagle Works is all about the competition. So our theme this year is innovation is the standard, not the exception. Again, innovation is the standard, not the exception. We want you all innovating. We want you all being creative. We want you all thinking, thinking bigger. What can I do to make this next thing that literally will make a difference in my life, in the people's lives around us? How can we change the world? You all do have the ability, you all have the mindsets, the skill sets, and the ability to physically change the world. What you're going to do is you're going to pitch your idea to a panel of judges in front of a live audience. And that's going to happen on Saturday, April 1st, 2017, and that's going to be in Derryberry. Okay? Now we'll tell you a lot more about that as we go along, so please be paying attention to the communication channels. Uh, right now, we are focused 100% on Facebook group, but we're also going to be introducing, we've, we've done a soft introduction of Slack. Who uses Slack, or who's ever heard of Slack before? A couple of us. Okay, so Slack is a, uh, is a great communications tool, uh, a little bit more targeted than what Facebook is. So, um, in the spirit of, of marketing as well, is there anything that you all would like to suggest that we use to communicate with you? We're probably going to just stick with Facebook group and Slack, but if there's something overwhelming that everybody is using, we're, we're open to that. Does anybody have any suggestions there? All right. We'll tell you more about Slack very soon. So we actually have a post about it on the Facebook group right now. So go and seek that out. Okay, so why Eagle Works? Number one, you gotta have fun, okay? So this is really, in the end, what it's all about. You're going to have fun. You're gonna be able to create a product, create a service, a protocol, a whatever, okay? and you're gonna be able to compete on that. And really, like we said at the very beginning, we want you all to make a difference. You all have the ability to make a difference. Don't do just something that's bland and boring. Do something that's gonna make a change. Do something that is going to make a difference in your life, other people's lives, the world. It's an opportunity for experience. I work with a lot of graduating seniors, and a lot of times what they'll say is they'll say, Michael, I've got a problem. I'm graduating soon, I'm looking for jobs, but the thing is, all these jobs require a certain amount of experience. I haven't even graduated yet, how am I supposed to have experience? The answer is create your own experiences. Don't get into that situation. Create your experiences now. We are offering you an opportunity for real, actual experience. You can put this on your resume, and that's great. But what this is really gonna do for you is it's gonna get you to think in mindsets. It's gonna get you to think in terms of being an innovator, being creative, and being an entrepreneur. Our president, Dr. Oldham, says that he wants, we need, at Tennessee Tech, we need to start graduating more students who are creating their own jobs than are finding their own jobs. And that means two things. One, that means, yes, you could start a business. So at the end of Eagle Works, you're gonna have everything that you need to be able to start an actual business. That also means that you can think like an entrepreneur if you're working for someone, okay? And we call that an entrepreneur. So an entrepreneur at default is somebody who thinks of creative solutions and changes their world, right? They innovate and they think like an entrepreneur. It's all about a mindset. And the people that think like an entrepreneur that are even working for other people, they're the ones that are gonna get noticed. They're the ones that are gonna get promoted. They are the ones that their managers, their directors, their vice presidents are going to look at I promise you of this, all right? So create your experience now. It's also gonna give, uh, give you the opportunity to get involved with the Innovation Entrepreneurship Program. So last time when I started out, I asked everybody, what does innovation and entrepreneurship mean to you? So I'd love to hear from some of the people that weren't here before. This corner over here, what does innovation entrepreneurship mean to you? Making a change. Making a change, I like it. What else? It's pretty good. Okay. All right. 
What about uh, this side of the crowd? What, what is innovation and entrepreneurship? Being creative. Yes, Jonathan. Building something new or altering something new? Okay, altering something new. Okay, but what? why? What's the point? To make it better. To make it better, right? We always want to make something better, right? Okay, so what does entrepreneurship mean to you all? Marketing. Marketing. Innovation. Okay, all right, so you're marketing that innovation, right? You're, making, you're figuring out a way to, to make money off that innovation or get it out to the masses, right? So what is the innovation entrepreneurship program at Tennessee Tech? What does that mean to you all? Are you even aware that we have a, an innovation entrepreneurship program? Kind of, okay. What, is, what have you heard about it? I've heard people talk about the University Fellows Program, which okay. I don't actually know what it is, but yep. I've heard people talk about it, so okay. like, that's all I know. All right, very good. So we do have the University Innovation Fellows. We also do pop-ups. You're at a pop-up right now. Uh, so very soon we're going to be offering pop-ups that are going to help you with EagleWorks. We're going to teach you branding and public speaking, uh, business model canvas, all kinds of really great things that are going to help you understand how to navigate EagleWorks and, and, and really be, you know, be all that you can be to, uh, uh, to compete. So we have, like we're talking about, we have an innovation entrepreneurship program. EagleWorks is a part of INE. The University Innovation Fellows are part of an INE. Uh, do you have a moment to talk about the fellows or do you need to, uh, do you need to leave? All right, so this is Jacqueline, by the way. Jacqueline is our student assistant director for the Innovation Entrepreneurship Program, and she's also uh, the de facto uh, communications person for the Innovation Fellows. So, Jacqueline. Um, hey, everybody. I am a senior nursing student. I am a new and That's pretty much it. So that gives you a little bit more information on what the fellows are, but they're all about spreading innovation entrepreneurship here on campus. Thank you very much, Jacqueline. Um, so with that said, a little bit more about the T Tennessee Tech INE. Uh, uh, we are a movement, okay? So we really are, we're trying to get you all to think in terms of being innovative, being an entrepreneur, all right? So we exist to empower the Tennessee Tech students, faculty and staff, and the surrounding community to create a brighter future for themselves and the world. And we mean, we mean every single word about that. All right, so again, it's also Eagle Works, it's the pop-up classes which we mentioned, the University Innovation Fellows, and we also have academic programs. So we have the, the National Science Foundation Innovation Core Program, uh, and that is uh, focused on getting an idea uh, from, uh, from, from basically inception to the market. So very similar to what you're doing with EagleWorks. So I encourage you all as you go through EagleWorks, uh, you may want to look at i to uh, uh, actually take your idea to the next level. And then we also have an innovation entrepreneurship certificate. So uh, that has uh, become available now. Uh, we can get you some more information about that, but basically know right now that uh, you, can, uh, you can take some classes in your pre-existing major. Uh, and then you can be involved in Eagle Works or be involved in other innovative projects and you can actually get a certificate on your transcript when you graduate that says Innovation Entrepreneurship Certificate. So please, by all means, contact us if you would like some more information about that. So moving right along, how are we going to compete? And that is a little bit small, but we'll post this on the Facebook group. So everybody's going to go to the Facebook group and join if they haven't. And they're going to check it and make sure uh, that they're uh, uh, always up to date. So I'll just read this to you. So first of all, you have to be a Tennessee Tech student. Do we have anybody here that's not a Tennessee Tech student? Okay. So probably don't have to worry about that. Uh, you've got to be taking at least one credit hour. Number two, you need to view the communications and resources page and then join the Facebook group. Again, can't stress it enough. Read the website, please please read the website, especially the communications and resources page and the how to compete page. Uh, our our, our um, uh, website is ten, uh, tntech.edu forward slash eagleworks. All right. So again, please, uh, please read everything there. Then you need to complete the registration form. So everybody in here, whether you're, you know, if you have the slightest idea that you're going to compete, please go ahead and fill out that registration form. It doesn't commit you to anything. It just lets us know 
that you want to compete, all right? And it will also allow us to, uh, uh, to figure out, you know, how many majors that we've got and, and various other demographic things. But right now, just go ahead and fill it out. So we had a question from Isaac on the Facebook group, and he asked, so I have just registered myself, but how do I declare who's on my team? We'll deal with that soon. We'll give you more information about it. Right now, we're just asking you to individually register and let, let us know uh, that you're interested in competing. So does that sound good for everybody? Is there anybody in here who has not filled out the registration form yet? Uh, if you haven't, please go and do that, and that just lets us know who you are, okay? Okay. Next up uh, is you need to form or join a team with an innovative idea. So if you don't have an idea, that's fine. You wanna compete, find somebody that does have that idea and get with them, right? So maybe you're a business major and your, uh, your background and specialties are uh, writing business plans or marketing, or maybe you're an accountant and you can do financials and things like that. Get with an engineer that has come up with a prototype or any other major. I'm just using engineer and, and business as an example. This is, again, for all majors. Um, but find a, uh, find, some, find a team or join one. We highly encourage interdisciplinary teams. So interdisciplinary means different majors working together. All right, so we talk about backgrounds and specialties. So we gave the example a minute ago with, uh, with an accountant that can do financials, right? But they may not know how to do prototyping. So they want to they want to find an engineer that can help them with that. Or maybe they want to find a nurse that can help us with uh, uh, understanding how our business is going to have an effect on the human body or our product or our, our uh, service, right? So go out and find different specialties. There's a reason that everybody has a different major. Everybody has different things that they're good at and other things that they're not as good at. And that's okay. That's human. And we want to celebrate that, right? So for far too long on college campuses, we have been siloed, and that means that nurses do nurse things, engineers do engineer things, but they don't really ever talk to each other, right? So we at Tennessee Tech, we're removing those silos. We want you all talking together because that's how it works in the real world. I promise you, when you get out in the real world, you're not just gonna be working with engineers, you're gonna be working with a wide array of people, and this is, again, one more way that you can get real world actual experience not only just to put on your resume, but the most important is getting that mindset together, is learning how to talk to other people, all right? That's the most important thing that you're gonna get out of this. So uh, then essentially what happens is, uh, moving, moving on from this point, you all are registering, you're forming your teams, you've got your idea. Really now is the time that you really, really need to start focusing on that, okay? So I've got written here, validate your idea, write a business plan, and develop a pitch. That in its essence is all you need to do for EagleWorks is you are going to validate your idea and we're going to have pop-ups uh, focused on the business model canvas which is this right here and basically it uh, takes you through a uh, process of figuring out what does this thing actually look like that i'm making right how does it you know who what is it going to do what what's the value proposition why would people actually buy this how much are people going to pay for it you know what do they want what do they not want and that's a great thing to go through so we're actually going to have two pop-ups on that and uh then we're, you're going to uh, uh, write a business plan, all right? So a business plan is, of course, a, uh, uh, a document that you work on that convinces uh, an investor, a judge, whoever, that your business is a good, that your innovative idea can be a viable business. And we're going to have pop-ups on that. Also, and I'll talk about this a little bit more in here in just a minute, we're going to have an entire class, a three-hour elective class. I think it's a 39 or a 4900 level. It's through the College of Business, uh, but anybody in this room can take it. Anybody that's in Eagle Works can take it. You just have to get permitted in, and you can get elective credit for it, okay? Anybody in here take the class last year? Nobody? Okay. And then finally, you're going to compete on Saturday, April 1st. Real quick rundown of how it's actually going to work. There's two parts to the day. In the morning, we'll have a trade show, or early afternoon, depending on when we do it. But we're going to have, first, a trade show. So a trade show, if you don't already know, uh, is where uh, businesses come and they set up booths and they advertise and talk about what it is that, uh, that they make or do, all right? And you all are gonna do that as well. This is another really good opportunity for experience for actually physically being able to talk one-on-one -on -one to a person about your business, all right? And you're also gonna be very creative. So uh, we gave you all a huge creative license to really decorate your and, and create your booth in a really imaginative and, and innovative way. So I'm really, I always look forward very much to see what the, what the booths look like. We'll talk to you all about this much more as we get closer to April. I just want you all to kind of know what you're going to be, uh, what you're going to be doing. So uh, then once we have the trade show, you're going to probably be doing some preliminary rounds during then. Preliminary round meaning that uh, we're going to 
uh, take a large amount of groups and we're going to narrow that to the finalists and then the finalists will go on and they're the, actually the ones that are going to compete on stage, okay? Uh, on stage meaning we're going to be in Derryberry this year. We've outgrown, in past years we've had Bell Hall, that's the nursing auditorium. We have outgrown that and that's a great thing so we've actually moved it into Derryberry now. And the new big thing for this year, one of the new big things, is that we are actually inviting the entire community. So you are going to be pitching to about five to 700 people. All right, so I asked last time, who thinks it's pretty awesome and not scary to talk to 500 people at a time? All right, who thinks that's the scariest thing in the world? All right, very good. We're gonna help you out with that too. So there's no need to be worried about that. Public speaking is a, is, a, uh, is a learned skill. It's an art, okay? Not everybody can do it. And even people that do it all the time. I do it all the time, all the time. And there's still certain situations where I get really anxious uh, or I just get really tripped up. And I always work on that. So there's always, I always look for opportunities to get outside of your comfort zones. And Eagle Works is gonna help you with that. We're even gonna have a pop-up specifically about public speaking and it's gonna help you out a lot, okay? So finally, uh, you compete, and then the judges will confer, and then they're going to announce the top four winners, and you all will win thousands in awards, and it's going to be awesome. So trust me on this when I say Eagle Works will change your life for the better. I guarantee you, every single person in here, every single person that competes, your life will be changed. So how are we actually going to do it? How are we going to compete like a boss? How are we going to do this? So number one, you're going to attend uh, optional and fun pop-up classes. So we've been talking about them already. If you haven't gotten it already, a pop-up class is a generalized term to describe anything from a workshop to a webinar to, uh, to, uh, to a speaker series. So it's basically, it's, a, it's an optional class that you can come. Most of them are going to be right here in the makerspace. Again, you're at one right now. And we'll have a specific topic that we're going to talk about, whether that be Business Model Canvas, whether that be public speaking, et cetera, et cetera, right? So we're, we have all the ones in spring are actually designed specifically to help you through EagleWorks. They're open to the entire campus, but we are focusing on the things that you need to know uh, to navigate EagleWorks, right? So again, watch the Facebook group, watch Tech Times, watch Slack. We will be putting all that information out about our pop-ups, okay? So uh, they last about one to two hours, usually about one hour. And uh, again, they're, you know, uh, all about prototyping and design thinking and all kinds of great things. So you're going to learn a lot, okay? Um, then we also have an optional course that's called Experiential Learning and in Entrepreneurship. That's a three-hour, four-credit course. It is offered through the College of Business, but every major and every college can uh, can get that credit. If they need, it, if you need an elective. We have a permitting system. It's a really easy form. You say, hey, I'm a mechanical engineer, but I want this elective. They will permit you in and you can take the course. Again, the course is optional, but I do highly recommend uh, that you do take the course because they will take you through the business plan writing. Okay, so they'll, they'll focus on some of the stuff that we have in the pop-ups, but really it's all focused on the business plan, okay? Um, and I, I encourage you, even if you are in the class, please do come to the pop-ups as well because the pop-ups discuss things that are not covered in the class, all right? And let's see here, what else do we need to talk about? So we're gonna have lectures from faculty and uh, we're also gonna have local entrepreneurs come and speak. So it, uh, it meets once, uh, once per week in the evening, so it's pretty easy to attend. Uh, and we'll give you more information about that when the actual course gets set up. But I just wanna let you know that that is available. Uh, we'll start, when does uh, early registration open? Do y'all know? Maybe like November or something like that. It'll, it'll be available then and we'll, we'll provide more information about it. Uh, finally, we'll, uh, we'll talk about business models, financials, marketing, and other concepts important to cultivating an entrepreneurial mindset and actually launching your business. So it'll be a really valuable course to take. So I highly encourage you to take it. Uh, finally, we're going to give you some more resources too. So uh, everybody very soon is going to get the rubric that we're going to judge, uh, that we're going to use to judge. All right. So the same rubric that is used to judge the finalist competition, you all will have that in about a month or so. All right. And it's about seven things that we judge you all on. So market viability, customer uh, acquisition, things of that nature, right? So you all see that soon. And uh, so that way we're gonna provide that early. And then that way you all will have no question whatsoever moving forward what you're going to be judged on, all right? 
So and everybody's all on the same page. We'll provide all that, that rubric to everybody. And we're actually going to do that a lot earlier than we have ever in the, uh, in the past. So I think that'll be a great thing for you all. We're also going to have faculty and community mentors. Uh, uh, Dr. Brian Nagy is here with us. He is uh, out of the College of Business, and he is actually one of the College of Business liaisons, and they're the ones that are helping us uh, to market the, uh, market the Eagle Works competition and also helping us to pair up mentors and, and faculty uh, with you all. So, again, we're not just going to throw you out uh, without uh, giving you any instruction on this. We are here to help you. We want you all to succeed because when you all succeed, we succeed. Okay? So we'll talk about mentors and all that very soon. Again, uh, we'll be having more informational meetings. We'll have, uh, we have the Facebook group that you can ask questions. We are recording this tonight, so you can go back and listen to what we said again. And uh, I will post the uh, PDF from this presentation uh, here in just a little bit uh, tonight, and we'll also post the, the video. And then we have the Biz Foundry. So we don't have Jeff tonight. Uh, if you want to hear what Jeff has to say, go listen to the first uh, informational meeting. The video is on the homepage of Tintech forward slash EagleWorks. Uh, but basically what Jeff is, is uh, Tiago, you want to tell us a little bit about what the Biz Foundry does? Yeah, sure. Uh, the, the Biz Foundry is basically an entrepreneur center here in the, the region. Uh, they cover about 14 counties here in Tennessee. So the main goal is to help members of the community with startup companies, anywhere from people that just have ideas and no clue what to do with it, to companies that have already started and they're either having trouble or trying to expand. So any sort of assistance with, you know, sometimes you need capital to expand or you just need to review your business model. So all the, basically anything that you need as far as like mentorship and anything that we can do, the this volunteer will be there to help you guys, so I would encourage heavily to use it. Yep. They're a fantastic resource and they are partnered with our INE program in Eagle Works. Um, and uh, they also help with, uh, right down to your pitches, so we'll have pitch nights and it's going to be a really great thing. And they actually, uh, uh, members of the Biz Foundry actually lead the Business Model Canvas pop-up, so uh, definitely, definitely try to join in on that. And then we have the Tennessee Small Business Development Center. And they're similar to the Biz Foundry, where the Biz Foundry is a business accelerator. The Small Business Development Center is a business development center. Okay, so they focus on a little bit before when you would get to, uh, to the Biz Foundry. So they focus on how can you write a better business plan or what are some of the things that you haven't thought of. They're actually going to lead a pop-up or two uh, on, uh, I can't remember exactly what their system is, but it's called 360 something. But the point is, is once you go through the business model canvas, they can actually take all those points that you did and then help you understand what you're missing on your business plan based on what you've done with the business model canvas. So everything is very, uh, very seamless and, and integrated. So again, I highly, if nothing else, I highly encourage you to, t to attend the business model canvas and the, uh, the 360 pop-ups because those are highly, uh, highly important to, uh, to your uh, success in the Eagle Works. All right, moving along. Any questions at the moment before we go? Good. Okay, so student intellectual property. So what is intellectual property? It's basically if you invent something, that's your invention, right? But you all are students at a university. So one of the things that we always get asked is, is Tennessee Tech going to steal my intellectual property? And the answer to that is no, all right? There's a couple caveats with that. Number one, you're gonna own all rights to your business. We don't, I don't, I don't want to take it. No, nobody wants to take your, your intellectual property, all right? Here's the deal, though. If you use significant resources on university campus, we may need to talk about that. So I'm not the expert on in intellectual property. Next Thursday, 5 o'clock, right here, we're going to have Lou Svensson, Tennessee Board of Regents attorney, and he's going to come and tell us all that you need to know about intellectual property. But here's what I want to say, the Michael version of that. If you're in this space right here, if you're in the makerspace and the iCube and you're working on your, on your invention, your intellectual property, can't take it. That's why we built this space, is so that you can come up and you can use the, the 3D printers and you can use the fabrication area and the meeting area. That, that makes it to where you are not using significant university resources, all right? So please, come and work on your project up here. You'll be 100% protected and it's a cool place to be, all right? So, uh, with that said, I'll have this link in the, in the presentation. This is last year's video, all right? So, not much has changed from them, but I do encourage you to come and be live in person so that you can talk uh, and you can interact with the, uh, with, with the attorney. So, he'll tell you everything that you need to know. 
but again, remember everything that's in this space is 100% protected, all right? And again, that's gonna be this coming Thursday, so next Thursday when y'all get back from fall break at 5 p.m. right here. Yes? Uh, question, you, you just stated that their intellectual property is protected. That's but correct. Is, is the equity that they may that be correct. And that thank you for thank you for interjecting that. Yeah. When we say intellectual property, we're also talking about the equity. Now, I'm glad you brought that up because I almost forgot to say that if you would like to partner with the university and the university feels that you actually do have a very viable uh, uh, business or innovative idea, there's a very good chance that we would like to talk to you. And if you want to share some equity with us, we'll help you out with legal things. So you can come and talk to me a little bit more about that. Um, but uh, uh, Lou Svensson will also talk a little bit more about it. But just know that uh, equity and IP in this, in this particular case are, are all the same thing. Okay. Are given to you, the money that we award you all, are awarded in the form of a scholarship. That's how we have to do it. It's federal and state law. It comes as a scholarship. We do not write checks. So let me repeat that again. We do not write checks. We do a scholarship, all right? And that means that goes on your student account, just like any other scholarship. And that doesn't matter if you're an undergraduate, uh, a transfer student, a graduate student, a doctoral student, whatever. It's just like any other scholarship and it gets awarded to your student account, okay? And we do that after the, uh, after the, the competition. So again, one more time, it is awarded as a scholarship, no checks. So uh, funds will be distributed equally among your teams. So if you have four teams and you win $1,000, everybody gets what? We're not math majors, are we? $250 a piece, <laughs> all right? So everybody will get awarded the same amount. We, uh, the first year, uh, we let teams uh, tell us what, you know, what distribution that they wanted and, and CO got more and on and on. That's a giant mess. You're all, all a team, you're all, all equal. You get the equal amount, okay? So is everybody cool with that? Great. And then finally, if you are graduating in December 2016, anybody in here graduating December 2016, you can still compete, all right? The problem, or the, the difference is, is being as you will not be a student in spring 2017, you cannot physically earn the awards, but you can still compete with your team, all right? So that, make, that makes sense because being as they're awarded as a scholarship to a student account, unless you have a student account, we can't award uh, that scholarship. So uh, that is a university policy, okay? So who, who is this for? Everybody. Again, interdisciplinary, think in interdisciplinary teams, okay? Again, you gotta be a student, you have to be taking at least one hour, so if you're on a co-op or anything like that, that's fine. As long as you're currently enrolled and taking at least one hour, you can compete in this thing. You can be an undergraduate or a graduate, you can be a doctoral student, this is for everybody. As long as you're a Tennessee Tech student, we want you in this competition. It's for all majors. This is for everybody. It's not just a business thing. It's not just an engineering thing. It's an everybody thing. So nursing, human ecology, arts and sciences, you name it, we want you in Eagle Works because everybody has a place here. Again, I've uh, kind of uh, told you a lot about interdisciplinary teams, but again, get on an interdisciplinary team. Find other people that have backgrounds that maybe you don't have uh, a specialty in, and that will allow you to make a better team and ultimately a better product, okay? now. You can go at this alone. You can be a sole proprietor. I don't recommend it because one, we've never had a sole proprietor win before. And two, that's gonna make a mountain of work on you all. Okay, so if you're the one doing it all yourself, you're gonna suffer because time and opportunity costs. And also you're not finding those specialties. So again, go out and find people with the right backgrounds, the right skill sets, the right specialties that are gonna help you be in a position to win, okay? Again, if you don't have an idea, not a problem, find a team that does. Get on, our uh, get on our Facebook group and network. Come to these meetings, network afterwards. I want everybody to, uh, uh, to, to, to talk to everybody. Even if you don't find a team right now, that's fine. Keep looking for them, all right? And then, uh, again, teams not placing first from previous years may compete again as the same team. So uh, any of our second uh, on down uh, uh, placing uh, teams from last year, y'all can compete again as the exact same business or you can create something completely different. That's fine too, all right? It's just uh, Giga Munch can't compete again as Giga Munch is, is essentially what it is. And I don't believe those guys are coming back for a while. So, all right. So when, again, 
please fill out the registration form if you haven't done it already. All right. Again, it doesn't commit you to anything. It just lets you know that, uh, or lets us know that you want to compete. Um, it's Go to the website, 10 EU forward slash EagleWorks. It's on the left-hand side, register now, and there's a big purple button at the bottom of the page too. Just click on that. First name, last name, email, major, I think that's pretty much it. Fill it out. Please do that for us because we just want to know that you're interested. Uh, join the Facebook group, and then, of course, we're going to have pop-ups every other Thursday. This week we're actually going to have, or next week we're going to have another one, so it's not every other Thursday in this case. But again, next Thursday right here at 5 o'clock, you're going to learn all about student intellectual property. <laughs> And we have this flyer right here. It's a beautiful flyer that's on everybody's seat and table. Please take this with you. This has the list of pop-ups that are coming up, so please familiarize yourself with that. And again, check the Facebook group because we're always uh, adding things there and we're always making announcements. And uh, most of them will be right here, but there's a chance that some of them may be somewhere else based on uh, various factors. So please do uh, try to stay in the loop. And also, read Tech Times. I know, I know there's a lot of stuff on Tech Times, but we do consistently put everything there, and it's, it's an easy way that we can get information out to everybody. All right, so please do, uh, if you don't, please do read Tech Times. And then with that said, questions, comments, concerns, praise. We like the praise. Okay, I saw your hand first. Um, for the class that's in the spring, for engineering, does that count as an AOE? Or do you know? I don't know the answer to that, but if you will email me and the way that you can get a hold of all of us are you can go to Tentech Eagle Works, click on the contact form that goes straight to my inbox. All right. So ask me that, uh, send me that question and I will get it figured out for you. Isaac. Okay. Same question. All right. Very good. Is he talking about the entrepreneurship course? Yes. Oh, yes, it is. It's AOE. Okay. All right. There you go. Very good. What other questions do y'all have? Have I explained everything? Does anything sound confusing, or is there any question that there's no dumb question, Isaac? Mine's more of a weird request. Do okay. You all the leaders to stand up and say who they need, like in their team currently. Yeah, let's do that for uh, here in just a second. Right. Great idea. We're definitely going to do that. We've got an announcement from uh, from Scott Hill here in a minute. Does anybody else have any questions or anything? How big yes. are teams usually? Teams can be any size. That's a great question. Thank you for asking that. That can be anywhere from one person to however many you want. What I would encourage you to do is get as many people that you need that's going to be effective, right? So a lot of times when you're, when, you're, when you're forming a team, what you're going to find is sometimes you can have too few people. And if what, what's going to happen on that is you're doing too much work or you don't have the right specialties together. What you'll also find is there, there's going to be too many people on a team. Right, and then that way, that's uh, you know when you find out when nothing's really get done, sometimes you want to kind of uh, cut your team back a little bit. What is the magic answer to that? There's no particular number. It's what works for you. So based on your product, your idea, right? Figure out who you need, and some of the ways that you can get to that are you can say, what's your major? Okay, so you can say I'm a marketing major, so I know all about how we're going to advertise this thing. Maybe I know a little bit about financials, but I have no idea how to prototype or I, I'm, I'm terrible at English, I'm a marketing major and I can't write, all right? So maybe you need to find an English major that can help you actually physically type this thing and, and get the grammar in it, right? So uh, whatever you think it is that is, is going to put you in a position to succeed, that's the right number. Does that work? Yeah. Okay, great. What other questions? Uh, saw you first. Is it okay that every team member Yeah, absolutely. I'm glad you asked that. So yeah, you can have a full team of mechanical engineers or marketers or whatever. But I think what you're going to find is that other people have different specialties that are in, and that's why they're in that major, right? But it can be whatever you want. There's no stipulation on the size of the team or the interdisciplinary of it. We may, uh, we may give some awards on the most interdisciplinary team, but that's not an official statement yet. That's just something that we're looking at. But as, uh, to answer your direct question, no, there's no stipulation on what the team has to look like. Does that help? Mentioned the, I'm guessing that was the winner gigabyte or giga much, yeah, giga munch, okay. right? Um, is there a video almost on a tape uh, of that pitch? And, right, you know, so I'm thinking if someone's a little bit anxious, they want to see, begin with the end in mind, of course, of course, and you may have it on this website, yeah, and that's a that's a great thing. We don't currently have it up there. Uh, I think we can, uh, depending on if we actually recorded them, I don't remember if they got recorded, okay, okay. If we did, we'll put that up there for you. But what, here's the thing, though. Uh, everybody's pitch is completely different and unique. We had eight finalists last year, and not 
a single one had anything to do with the other. They were all completely different. And that's why we offer pop-ups for you all. And that's why we're specifically going to do pitch practice pop-up nights. That's why we're partnered with the Biz Foundry. They're going to help you know what to do. Furthermore, we're going to post video clips on the Facebook group from time to time, for example, Shark Tank and other places. And we're going to say, hey, this is a great example of a pitch. Or, hey, this is definitely what you don't want to do in a pitch. All right? So we like to uh, we like to put those up there too. So again, please become active. Please please put yourself in a in a in a position to where we can communicate with you. We will take care of you through this entire thing. Now, that doesn't mean that we're going to do the work for you, but we're going to put the, we're going to plant the seed. We're going to get you all there. We're going to provide the opportunities and resources for you all to succeed. It's up to you if you take them or not. Cool. Questions? Yes. Uh, is it only the first place team? Great question. All right, so we will have, unless something changes drastic, we will have top four teams. So we'll have first, second, third, and fourth, and then we'll have some uh, we'll have some other uh, prizes as well for uh, various other categories. Yep. Now the first place team will win a, a larger amount of money, but uh, uh, but no, there's 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 four. Yeah. What else? What was the largest team we had? Was it six, eight? Oh four, gosh. Eight? I don't, I remember don't parking? remember. Yeah, right around there, something like that. What you're going to find after you go, I, there's a, there's kind of a magic number it seems for teams, but you know it does depend on your particular situation. But you can't have too many. But really, it's if you all are effective and functioning, and it's 15 of you, great. Be 15 of you, fine. Uh, just get the backgrounds and experiences, or the the, peer, the people that have the experience that you need to put yourself into a position to succeed. Well. Were you involved with co-starters last season? Uh, uh, quite a little bit, but actually Scott Hill was uh, involved a lot more I, in that. I was in that class, mm -hmm. that pilot class that I had with Great. Scott. Um, I was so impressed with it, I would consider doing it again, but I wanted to know if you felt like, or Scott felt like, it would be a valuable supplement to this, or if there's enough in this. You know, I think anything that you can do to put yourself in that position is a great thing, and I highly uh, would encourage you to to take co-stars because I do think I, I believe in the curriculum, and that's actually what Scott's going to talk to us about today. Does anybody else have any uh, Eagle Works questions? We can talk afterwards too. That's fine if you want to uh, ask an individualized question. Anybody else got anything? Good. Great. All right. Well, Scott, talk to us for a little bit. I'll take over. So I know. Uh, Michael's been talking about all the great opportunities you guys are going to have at pop-up classes to get your business model together for Regal Works. I'm going to talk about one more opportunity that we have, and Hunter was actually just mentioning it. So we've got a program called Co-Starters that's actually coming to Tech. Uh, this, this program was kind of put together by the uh, a lab called The Co, which is actually in Chattanooga, and so they're an innovation entrepreneurship lab, kind of like the Biz Foundry, but they're they're a lot more advanced than what we've got. And put together this curriculum uh, so that you can actually have this ability of learning how to, to build a business model, kind of like going through that entrepreneurship class that, uh, that uh, Michael was talking about. This is a more accelerated program, uh, and so, what exactly is Co-Starters? Well, it's a um, yeah, it's a business startup boot, boot camp of sorts. It's a seven-week program where you're going to come uh, one night a week for three hours, and you come and uh, you're going to actually go through, talk about your ideas. Uh, your, the idea is that you come in with one single idea in mind, but if you have a kind of a range of ideas and you don't know which way to go yet, we'll kind of help you get started with that. Um, so I'm actually one of the co-facilitators. Uh, I'm actually the, uh, so my, I mentioned my name is Scott Hill. I am the associate director of our iMakerspace, which is where you're at. I work with Michael on a day-to-day -day basis. And so I'm actually here to help you guys uh, build your prototypes or learn how to use the equipment, the 3D printers, any of the CNC technology we have over here. If you need to learn how to make something, I can help you do that. Or I'll put you in touch with someone who will, who will help you, okay? But I'm actually co-facilitating this class this uh, this semester, uh, and so uh, my actual the lead facilitator is a patent attorney. His name's Kevin Christopher. He's going to be he couldn't be here tonight, but you guys will get to meet him. Uh, and he may actually lead one of the one of the pop-ups later. But he is a patent attorney. He's helping um, do a little bit of that uh, um, the IP protection on campus. And so, but anyway, so this class is actually a way that you're going to learn how to carry out the lead startup method. Uh, we're actually going to go do customer discovery, learn about the channels uh, associated with your product or your service. Uh, figure out your revenue stream and cost structure, all of these different things. And so what you're going to do is you're going to learn how to uh, turn your business into uh, some sort of a, uh, a uh, more probable, um, a, 
maybe so you'll, you'll learn by the end whether or not your your, your uh, idea is, is going to be something you actually want to go into or you you come out knowing that maybe this isn't something I want to put my time towards so you get this like go or no go opportunity uh, and so we've got different kinds of uh, classes that you're going to actually learn from different guest speakers that we have that are going to focus on each of these different areas and so like I said when does it happen it's Monday nights we haven't determined the time yet but we have a, a uh, and I'll get to it in a second you guys will actually get to determine the time those of you that are, that are going to be in the course. Uh, it's seven weeks. It starts October 17th, so not this coming Monday, but the Monday afterward. Okay? Three hours each week, like I said, and then every week we have food provided, so you, your dinner is included in the, uh, in the course. So you'll come, you'll sit down and eat for a few minutes, talk through ideas, get through some of the program, and then we'll dive right into, into discussing ideas and going through the activity. And then there's a pitch at the very end. It's the last week, the seventh week. You'll actually do a pitch. Uh, and this can actually help you, you know, get ready for, for uh, the Eagle Works competition. This is going to be a more accelerated program uh, and, and associated with the pop-up classes. And so, like Hunter was asking, if this is something you feel like you should do on top of the pop-up classes, absolutely. So this co-starters, you notice the title actually said co-starters plus researchers. We're actually focusing on the more technical side. So if your business is something that's more technical, maybe it's in technology or uh, you know, something of the kind where you're developing some technology with a professor or you've got some idea for doing research, then this is absolutely something that you should consider. But we're also we're taking applications from anyone in EagleWorks. If you're developing an application for iPhone or something like that, go ahead and apply. And so you can do that by going to this website. This is uh, just our Google form. What you're going to do is give your basic information, contact information for me. You're going to give a short description of what your project is. Uh, and it's because we've got a limited number of seats. We've actually got to choose who's going to be um, be the best fit for the course. And so uh, this is a very, uh, it's going to be a very dynamic kind of a course. So you're going to have to be dedicated. Uh, each week you'll be going out and doing some customer discovery where you got to go talk to customers uh, and, uh, and get some uh, feedback from them and then come back and present it to us so we can talk about it. So if you're not interested, you know, if you've got a lot on your plate, you've got a lot of classes, uh, you know, a lot going on, then this may not be something for you. But if you really want to put the time in to developing a, a, a business model, then, then absolutely apply. And so you'll uh, fill that out, and then we'll get back to you around middle of next week. So we're going to cut the form off of Wednesday of next week, and then we're going to get back to you on Thursday. Are there any questions? I know I'm just trying to go through it quick because I know we've got a lot of This is all for next semester? This is all this semester, so October 17th. It starts okay. in, in a week. Will, will it be off in next semester? Uh, maybe. It was offered in the spring, uh, and so far it's been free. So this is another thing. This course is normally $150. It is free for you guys. So uh, the Launch Tennessee, who's actually they're the, they're kind of the, the parent over uh, the Biz Foundry, they're paying for this. But offered next semester, I don't know. Uh, it may or may not be. What's the cost uh, for lay people, folks that are not students or associates? So anyone that wants to pay for it, uh, there's actually one at the Biz Foundry that we're directing them to, and so that cost is 100. It's 150 dollars. So there's actually two co-starters going on at the same time. One is going to be at the Biz Foundry, and then one will be here. The one at the Biz Foundry is more for professionals or, or uh, you know, non-tech students, and they can pay for it. So, any other questions? Yeah. 